Susan Reagan Troughton is suing Brandon Conrad for the cost of a puppy, a stud fee, and travel expenses. Miss Troughton, you have a boxer dog, is that right? Yes, I do. And it's a male. Um, yes, I'm <laughs> sorry. The boxer dog belongs to a friend of ours now. It used to be my son's. I do have a note here from the owner. Oops. I don't read the notes. Okay. When did you own the boxer dog? Uh, about a year ago. For how long? <sighs> Two years. How old was the dog when you got him? He was eight weeks old. And what's the name of the person who you either gave or sold him to? Craig. Did you sell him or give him to Mr. Gave Shaver? him to him. Why? My son was working long hours and couldn't take care of him anymore. Had him in the cage all day. Craig took him. Craig has the father. On, on what date did he take him? I'd say June of last year. That was prior to the breeding that you had with Mr. Conrad's dog. Yes. So at the time that you had used the dog for breeding purposes, the dog no longer belonged to you? No. And the dog no longer belonged to you because you couldn't take care of it? No, my son couldn't. You couldn't take care of the dog anymore because whoever was taking care of the dog, clearly not you, was not taking care of the dog properly, so you gave it away. My son gave it away. Whoever gave it away couldn't take care of it, and the dog yep. was not being treated well, and your son gave it away. Yes. All right. I'm asking you all these questions because I'm trying to figure out what you mm -hmm. want. So while the dog was in your custody, physical custody for a while, although you never owned the dog, you bred the dog with Mr. Conrad's female boxer. Yes. And what were you going to do with this pick of litter that you wanted? Um, well, I wanted not to have a well. trained. Now, let's just me. I wanted to have it trained as a service dog. Why didn't you train the other dog as a service? Listen to me. If things don't make sense, they're usually not true. I learned that in my life. It has stood me in very good stead. So let me tell you what I'm having so far, because this is a relatively easy case. But what I have so far is a woman who says to me that she didn't own a dog, that she used for stud, and she didn't own the dog because she gave the dog away, or your son did, who probably lives with you, who didn't live with you. Nope. So your son didn't live with you, gave the dog away, and then you got the dog. Were you just walking the dog for Craig? No. What were you doing for Craig when you took the dog over to Mr. Conrad's to breed? Craig told us that we could have to breed it. Okay. Well, I don't know that. And Craig isn't and here. You're not Craig, are you? No, sir. Okay. And I don't read letters. What, um, what'd you bring him for? Bring Craig instead of him. He knows nothing. He had to work. He couldn't get out of work. That's not my problem. I'm the judge. I have to hear people. So you had absolutely no interest in this dog. None. Other than getting the puppy. No, you weren't getting anything. It wasn't your dog. You had no ownership interest in the dog. In any event, what I'm not doing is I'm not believing you so okay. far. Anyway. You took the dog to Mr. Conrad, and you said, let's breed these two dogs. At that time, Mr. Conrad had no idea that you didn't own the dog. So far, is that correct? Yes, ma'am. And you made an agreement with her to give her pick of litter. I did, under circumstances that she paid vet bills in, 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 during we encountered any. Okay. Because I was, I was under the arrangement that we would breed the dog. When she came to the house, I didn't know, like you said, that the dog owned, belonged to somebody but else. Listen to me, Mr. Conrad. Don't start double-talking me. Okay. Don't look at me like you're stupid. I mean, if you're looking at me like you're stupid, I'm going to think you're stupid. Okay. Just so listen to me. Don't start double-talking me. People who breed dogs, you don't look like an unintelligent man, although you look unintelligent right now. <laughs> People who breed dogs and have a litter of puppies, the sire either gets paid a stud fee or gets pick of litter. Mm -hmm. That's what they get. They do not pay vet bills. That's the deal. This lady didn't agree to pay vet bills. And I didn't you agree to breeding my dog. Just a second. I was doing her a favor. Just a second. Well, then you're a fool. Now, you're either a stupid fool or you're a fool. Because if you were doing her a favor, do a favor with your own body. Make your own children. Don't take your dog doing her a favor and put your dog through a th three-day labor where she almost died because you didn't have money to take her to a vet and two of the puppies died because you didn't know what you were doing because you're an amateur and you said, well, now she's in labor and I don't have money to take I her. I'm speaking. I read your answer. Now she's in labor. I don't have money to take her to a vet. So I'm going to start to read books on how to deliver puppies. Now, he said, what is it, 63 days is a period of gestation for a dog? He has 63 days to read a paper. All of a sudden, the dog goes into labor and is laboring for three days, can't deliver these puppies, and this idiot decides to now it's the time to read a book on how to deliver puppies. That is not how this happens, ma'am.